Today we're going to take a detailed look into the Wobble Meter 2.0. Hi, I'm Bill Knighton, the president of Right Angle. Today we want to talk about Wobble. What is Wobble? I know when I go to a restaurant and I sit at my favorite table and I go to put my arms on the table and you get that little movement, I find that kind of annoying. So I also notice that with height adjustable tables. I notice that if I'm keying on my keyboard and I'm typing and my monitors are bouncing and things are moving around, it makes me uncomfortable. I really don't like it. So what we wanted to do is try to measure that. So that's where we came up with the wobble meter. With table wobble, there are basically two movements. There's a lateral movement, left to right, and a front to back movement. What we want to do is we want to measure those movements and make it so it's easy to understand and something you can quantify with your height adjustable table. We wanted to compare other standing desks with our own. So in order to do that, we had to develop some type of meter to measure that. That's where the Wobble Meter 2.0 comes in. So how did we build the Wobble Meter? We wanted to start with a sturdy foundation, so we used a heavy steel plate, steel columns, and an adjustable mechanism that would move up and down to fit different height adjustable workstations. We've got a a needle, a display, we've got a heavy steel bearing that uh, is friction free and it moves very easily. Now to make that needle move we had to have another device and that's where our clamp comes in. Our clamp has two steel posts to work on a corner of a workstation. This steel pin here fits precisely in the gap on the bottom of the needle. So when we take this unit here and we attach it to the corner of the workstation and lock it down we can take the needle, slide it over the pin, center it, and then when we put our movement on the table, it gives us a precise measurement on the display. You can see the pin is inserted into the needle, and there's very little play between the top of the pin and the bottom of the needle. So you'll notice when I move it back and forth, there's no friction, it's not touching, but when I wiggle the table back and forth, you're going to see the movement easily on the needle. This is something that can be repeatable, and we will be doing this with all our tables that we are testing. When we do our testing, we do two different heights. We do a 30-inch height, which is basically your standard desk, and a standing height of 46. Here we're going to give you a demonstration of how the testing process works. We do a 5 pound pull, a 10 pound pull, and a 15 pound pull. So here you'll see me pull at the 5 approximately and you're going to get a needle reading of around 3.5, maybe 4. A 10 pound and then we go to a 15 pound pull. Now you're going to see the deflection on, of the needle and uh, what we do is we compile those numbers. Now we also would normally do a front to back test and with that test we do a 5 pound pull and a 10 pound pull. So what do the numbers really mean? If you're pushing on the table and you're getting a deflection of the table of around an eight, that's about a sixteenth of an inch, and that's one direction in the lateral movement. So you'll have to multiply that by two. Uh, it can go higher. You can get up to maybe a, a 16, 17, and then you're going to be up to an eighth of an inch of travel. An eighth of an inch of travel doesn't sound like much, but remember that table in the restaurant when you went to sit down and you did feel that movement? It doesn't take much for it to be something that's extremely noticeable. We now have our numbers. Now the numbers, they're accurate. We can't tell a lie with the needle that we have. The scale is definitely correct. We take those numbers, we put them in our green, yellow, and red range. Now the green, yellow, red range, that's something that we developed. That's something that we feel would be an acceptable range for table movement. But again, you always have the numbers. and You can compile that however you'd like.
This is our true wobble test. This isn't something that we put in our results because we just feel it's not accurate enough to put into our results. But we'll do it for you in a video. Just some people ask, wobble the table back and forth, push on it. So again, we try to do the best we can. We try to hold it at five pounds and put a wobble into the table and you do get some movement. You will see a difference between other tables, but again, this isn't something that we're gonna do in our test results. As you can see, we put a lot of effort into developing the wobble meter. We wanted a device that could measure true movement, it, for it to be accurate, and for people to understand it. I've been manufacturing height adjustable tables for over 15 years, and we've been in the manufacturing business for over 30. So we feel like we're very knowledgeable with how tables are put together and how they should be assembled after they're manufactured. I wanted to thank you for watching this video on the wobble meter. And also, if you have any questions, contact us at reproducts.com or go to our blog, Right Angle Answers.